When you read an article or book regarding the upgrade process for Exchange 2007, you might be confused by the wording. So we thought we might take a moment to explain some of the terms used in relation to the actual process for upgrading. For some, when they think of an upgrade, they think of taking their Exchange system, popping in a DVD, and upgrading that system in place. That simply isn't a possibility with Exchange 2007. The reason for this is that Exchange 2007 didn't run on the 64-bit platform for Server 2003. So you are required to set up a new server with the proper 64-bit operating system and then you can install Exchange 2007 on that new server. However, you will see the word upgrade used at times, although not in the literal sense. But it is used to describe the actual process of going from a previous flavor of messaging over to Exchange 2007. However, the two methods that are available to us are migrations and transitions. Migration scenarios might include moving from Exchange 5.5 to 2007 or Lotus Domino, perhaps Novell Groupwise, over to Exchange 2007. A migration allows for mailbox data to be transferred over, but configuration data is not. This is different from a transition, which can be done from Exchange 2000 or 2003 over to Exchange 2007. With a transition, you can move both mailbox and configuration data to the 2007 organization. Because a transition happens in stages, there is a period of coexistence where you have both legacy exchange servers and 2007 exchange servers. That coexistence period can be short or long depending on your needs. So, now that we know what the terms mean, let's look into the process, and I'll see you in the next lesson.